Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of Game Hub Windows Emulator for Android the version 5.3 update which was released just yesterday now to update your Game Hub Windows Emulator to its latest version tap on these three lines afterwards scroll down go to settings afterwards go to the about section and here it will say current version is 5.2.2 so simply tap on it if you see it says already to the latest version then it means that it has yet to get the brand new update but if you keep playing the emulator it will automatically be updated for example right here is my oneplus pad and if i open the game hub windows emulator on this you guys can see it says the version 5.3.0 and if you are wondering what's new in this version of game hub emulator there are mainly ui changes where first of all your recent games will be shown instead of you needing to scroll all the way over for you to choose the game before you used to get this pc game section but now you get the view game library section as a second tab where you will be able to find all of your pc games and the pc emulator section has been pushed off to the back the steam section was after the PC emulator section but it has been brought before that so some UI changes have been made along with that steam support has been improved greatly so now steam works even better you can even switch your steam account you can tap on the a button to enter your steam library and as you guys can see for yourself this UI has also been changed now so those are some of the few major things that have been changed in the game hub emulator 5.3.0 where we also have internal changes such as bug fixes performance improvements yep stuttering issues have been fixed for games like GTA 5 which we used to get previously quite a lot in game of version 5.0 to 5.2.2 so to set up the game of emulator all you'll need to do is to go to the third section pc emulator after a step on import pc games now this is actually unfortunately the Play Store version of Game Hub Emulator, so it says <laughs> this feature is not supported. Well, no worries, guys. I have updated the Game Hub Emulator to 5.3.0 on my mobile device. So here I'll go to Settings About section. You guys can see it says 5.3.0. Let's go back. Let's import our PC game. For that, go to this third section. You can only do this if you add the Game Hub Emulator from its official page, not the Play Store version. After all, select the PC game that you want to play. For example, let's say you want to play GTA 5 Lite version. So here I'll simply add the game after a tap on the confirm button and here we go our game has been successfully added the cover art will also load so let's tap on these three lines go to pc settings now first of all if you tap on enter container desktop it will start adding all the necessary stuff such as firmware latest wine versions latest graphics driver dx wrappers etc so just be patient after all that's done the container will successfully open so here i'll simply disable touch controls and import my gta 5 save data you need to copy the gta 5 save data if you have that as well the social club folder afterwards paste it into program data in the c directory of game hub emulator once that has been done, we'll simply go back, simply scroll down and tap on the exit button. Now we can start applying the best settings. So game resolution, you can decrease it according to your device specification. I'll keep it as 1280 by 720p for today's video, but for low-end devices, go with 800 by 600. If you face lagging issues, let's go to compatibility, translation parameter, set it to extreme translation parameter, confirm it and that's about it. GPU driver should be the Snapdragon Turnip graphics driver if you have Snapdragon processor, so Turnip 26. 0 revision 3 well i actually have snapdragon 8 elite processor so i'll need to go with the latest qualcomm 849 uh, graphics driver instead everything else you can keep it as default just make sure to choose the fix translator as the latest october 29th build this will be here so choose it uh, vram limit set it to 4 gb wicked e3d you can also select the latest wicked e3d proton 3.0 which is really cool so let's select it afterwards we'll keep everything as default so let's launch our game and see how well does it work inside the game hub emulator 5.3 so guys i was having some trouble getting gta 5 light working inside game hub light on my s25 ultra so right here i have launched gta 5 the normal version instead on my oneplus pad which has a mediatek dimensity 9000 processor and Towards the top, you will be able to see the performance for yourself. 31 FPS while emulating GTA 5 on a Mali GPU Android device inside the inside the Game Hub Emulator version 5.3.0. You guys can see the graphics look amazing. There are minimal stuttering issues, not as much stuttering as before, I might add. And also another thing. It is not as good as Game Hub Antutu version because in Game Hub Antutu version I was easily getting 37 to 40 FPS in open world areas. But do note that I had also downscaled my graphics in that I haven't downscaled my graphics in this version. 
So the performance is almost similar. I think Game Hub N22 can give me more FPS because it can consume more resources from my Android tablet. But still, this is really, really, really great performance. Honestly, an improvement in stuttering issues. Mali GPU Android devices. If you want me to test out many other games as well, do let me know in the comment section down below which would you want me to test and on what Android device. That's going to be it for today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.